In recent session, it's been all about U.S. dollar demand and downside pressure in stocks. This is how things look into Wednesday, though we have seen some demand for U.S. equity futures off earlier lows, with dip buyers happy to step back in, especially with the S&P 500 bouncing off rising trendline support from May. The big hit to the market has come from a number of places. This includes AstraZeneca's suspended vaccine trial, a massive plunge in Tesla, more tension between the U.S. and China, and stalled U.S. fiscal stimulus talks. UK markets have been getting a little attention of their own of late, with renewed worry around no-deal Brexit and the uptick in UK coronavirus cases resulting in a plunging pound back below 130 against the US dollar, this for the first time since July. Looking ahead, most of the focus in North America will be on bigger picture themes given the light economic calendar. The market will also be watching to see what comes of the Bank of Canada policy decision, where the central bank is fully expected to communicate a cautious outlook. That's all for now.